I joined before Meadowbrook was Meadowbrook. I joined, it goes way back, 1944. Uh, when the club was formed, it was a collection of men who all knew each other pretty much very well. It was a collection of Washington Avenue manufacturing people at that time. Washington Avenue was a very viable, second largest needle trade center in the country. And men from the Chestnut Street area, which was a real estate area. And that was the nucleus of what formed the club in 44. Meadowbrook Country Club back at that time was known for the remotes. The remote was all the big bands played at the old Meadowbrook. I remember the fire when Meadowbrook burned down. Uh, I heard about it, I suppose it was on the radio at the time. And I came up here and uh, I walked up the 18th fairway and I could see flames rising up in the sky from the building. It was a horrible fire. Meadowbrook had a big fire in the kitchen and the whole place burned down. That's when they moved out here on Clayton Road. My father was one of the charter members of the club. The club was different then. The youngsters have a lot more to say to the club now than they used to. I, the first time I was able to set foot on the golf course was age 12. Uh, that was law. Uh, now, youngsters that uh, just were five, six, seven years old just uh, swim the club which is fine, it's great. I remember coming out here during the week and on the weekends with the kids, and our activity was to swim, and they just loved it, and they met all the other kids from all the other families, and even to this day, they talk about how much fun they had out here. The club at that time was not so much geared towards kids like it is today. I wish it had been, because I see now all the wonderful activities that are presented. I wish we had that, but I do remember the swimming, and we could eat out here, but they had to be out of, off the grounds, and I don't remember what hour, but it was early, and we couldn't bring them out here for dinner uh, after probably six o'clock. When we were early, when we first had children, they, could, they had to be over three to be in the grill room, which is the grill room now, it used to be the Copper Cove. They had no family activities. It was basically a golf and swimming and tennis club for adults. Where now, there's changing areas. They, um, and the pool is amazingly uh, geared towards the families, the kids. They have so, so many okay, uh, different kinds of um, activities, activities to come here with families. I mean, Jill and Kevin and her kids are here all summer. It's so different and it's so much nicer. Our focus was, as the club broadened, uh, was, to make, was to make sure that the new people that we brought in had that same view of what a country club should be and a family-oriented uh, uh, situation uh, as opposed to simply a golf club. When we first joined, it was more noted as an all-Jewish club. And then uh, early 2000, we really tried hard to make it diverse, you know, have it really a really diverse club. And I think it's worked out really well. I think that most members are proud of our diversity. Uh, you know, you look at companies and firms, they, they want to show that they are diverse. And that's what we are here. I mean, we are now a diverse club. When I take clients out to play golf or bring them here, I think there's some pride about it. You know, like, you know, one is one of the nicest golf courses in town, but also that it's, it's a friendly place for everybody. Like, there's always shock to see how many people are uh, saying hi when they're just walking by and going out of their way to uh, introduce themselves or to be a part of you know, your discussion. Golf course has really been outstanding. I've played in courses all around St. Louis, Orson, St. Louis Country Club, uh, Belle Reve, and I think Meadowbrook is uh, certainly is, is equal, if not better than, I think, than, than most. 
and we have very dedicated people on our course too. There's no divide with with you know groups and tea times and you know I always it, it doesn't bother me but you know when someone says hey do you mind if I hop on your tea time it's like of course not what you know we'll play with anybody so you know through the golf course and and you know just the the uh, diversity of age groups that we have here you know there are just so many different groups of demographic and people that I would have never you know, never met or never thought to play with that have kind of brought brought everybody together, which is fantastic. Uh, the other thing I always think about with Meadowbrook was just using all, using this facility for all of our anniversary parties, bar and bat mitzvah parties. It was the place to entertain, and I still feel that way. Meadowbrook has been an integral part of our family. I mentioned that we had our engagement party here. Uh, we had uh, our mitzvah parties for both of our sons. Uh, we had an engagement party for our oldest son when he was uh, when he got engaged. I feel like it's become more of a social club. People want to eat outside, out on the patio. It's not just about golf. It's now more about all the activities, all the events that the club hosts. It seems to host a lot more events than it ever did in the past, um, making it kind of a more a place that you can. There's something for everyone. Well, I think Meadowbrook's always had a reputation for excellent food, and I, I will say one thing. I don't remember if it's when I was president or after or before, but, but at one point somebody decided that they were going to stop serving bagel chips, and it was like somebody decided to cut off the right arm of every member. There was there was a, 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 a real outcry, and so bagel chips were put back on the menu. And I, I think when guests comes, they come, they enjoy that sort of thing. The food was just always so outstanding. If you can picture the finest buffet you've ever been to. That's the quality it was. We used to have the ice uh, carvings, and the food was just so impeccable. You know, I ran through the various things that we've done here, and I'm sure we're not the only member that, that has that string of events here. Um, we, we now bring our granddaughter here. Uh, she loves to swim. Uh, she took golf lessons, um, and, and uh, it's, it's a second home to her. Uh, and, and that's what I think Meadowbrook does. I, there's, there, there's, always, I guess, a difficult line with a country club. Do you want to make it kind of a stuffy, old folks, dodgy sort of place, or do you want to make it a nice family place? And I think through the years, Meadowbrook's uh, idea is we're going to be family, we're going to welcome families, uh, and that's what we do. And we, uh, the idea is to, is to make the one, not make, but have the one or younger generation want to be out here and enjoy the place and hopefully uh, become members also. A place of comfort place of people that get along rather well. A whole cadre of wonderful employees that are very courteous, very kind. I think we have a marvelous membership. The club has changed. It used to be just about 99% Jewish, um, which fine, but that's not today. Uh, today, really have to get along with people of all religions and races. Really a nice place to come to enjoy camaraderie, uh, pleasant uh, relationships with people and kindness. Really a wonderful place. I'm proud of it and delighted and, and very privileged to be part of Meadowbrook. Family time to me. Uh, I, I played golf but it's really just being together as a family. Um, I mean, if you were looking for one word, I would say warm, familiar. I mean, it's like, uh, it's like putting on that comfortable pair of shoes or something that, you know, that feels so good. But I'll tell you what it was really fun, is twice we did the shows, and Buddy directed them, and that was a lot of fun. And we got to meet, this last time especially, we got, I got to meet, other members that I had never known. So um, it brought us together again on a different level. We've had a hell of a good time. <laughs> yeah, we really have. We've met a lot of nice people. Yeah. And uh, we've become friendly with a lot of people. And we still have that friendship.